welcome to another video in this video i will tell you how to filter lookup fields related to another lookup or another field for example let's take a scenario here <clears throat> here is the entity called as enrollment in the enrollment i can create multiple enrollment for multiple students let's say ajay sharma for ajay sharma i have enrolled two courses one is d365 functional another is brokerage rpa now it's because Ajay joined two courses whenever I will create a payment record for this Ajay in the course enrolled course lookup it, I should see only two items while creating payments I don't want to see third one because third one belongs to someone else right so let me go to the entity called as payment and try to create new payment and I want to create a payment for student Ajay so this is the Ajay and when I, my requirement is whenever I will click this I want to see only the courses enrolled by this student as I have uh, shown you uh, in my last screen Ajay joined only two courses the first one and second one the third one is different one it's because I have not filtered this training lookup or the target training lookup uh, as for the student that's why it, it is showing all the enrollments which includes different entity different students but i want to filter this to display only the enrollments course enrollments related to this ajay so what i can do i have to go to the form and uh, configure some filtering for this lookup now go to the form this is my form here i will select this uh, field this is the lookup field and in the property you will find there is an option called as disable most recent items used i want to disable most recently used items because uh, this option gives you a list of suggested items which is recently used which i don't want right so disable this and if you scroll down you will find there is an area called as filtering if you open this filtering you will find a filter by related row click on this filter by related row then you can choose which relationship uh, you want to filter by my relationship is student because I have a student lookup in the uh, student payment and according to this student lookup only this filter should be uh, this lookup should be filtered training lookup should be filtered so I can use the student now what it will do it will take the student and try to filter the view for this lookup now which table it will filter it will filter the enrollments so by taking the student information student lookup information it will filter the training target training or enrollments as per the student selected now this will give you the filtering criteria automatically right now you can click on publish now very simple right enabling just the to filter the related records of a specific value or specific lookup field now once it is published i can go to the same payment record and press ctrl f5 for a hard refresh you can also do it in javascript right on the change event of this student lookup uh, you can write down a javascript to add another filter for this uh, lookup control using pre-search uh, pre and add custom filter anyway but without uh, using javascript also you can do that now go here and try to press ctrl f5 click on reload now in now for now if you click on this student and select a student in the lookup let me select a student from the lookup now if i'll click this target training lookup it will display only two why because only two enrollments are there if you go and check in the student enrollments just discard the changes you see for Ajay I have only two uh, what is that in the enrollment in the enrollment we have only two courses right but if you choose Mithali it should display one let us check I will go to uh, payments and create a new payment and this time I'll choose a student called as Mithali 
now if you click this I should see only one because we have enrolled only one course for this student Mitali and I can take this to create payment for this student right so you understand how this is uh, filtered as per the existing users value or related uh, entities records value thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel and if you have not joined as a member you can uh, join so that you can watch premium videos thanks guys bye